Hi, this is Roger. I'm gonna, today I'm going to show you how to build or rebuild the typical EVOD head. You may have a, a head like that that you use. I use one all the time. It's so easy to rebuild. So um, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to take the base off. And this is the part that we'll be rebuilding. You can see this one's gunked up pretty bad. Um, we'll set it aside there. I'm going to put this in a clothespin. I use a clothespin sometimes to just kind of keep a, a unit upright out of the way. I have a, a napkin here that I'm going to uh, clean the uh, old juice off with on this head. Got it cleaned off a little bit there. Now, um, what I'd like to show you is, first thing we want to do is we want to pull this chimney off. Just wiggle that chimney a little bit, and it will pop off of there. It's a little slick from the uh, oil. Let me put my tweezers on it see if I can get a better grip. Yeah, there it comes off. And you can see again, this one is really gunked up. Um, so anyway, once I pull that top chimney off, this is the chimney, set it aside on your napkin or paper towel. At this point, I'll take my tweezers and there's a little groove in there. I'm going to put it in there, spin this so that the uh, head comes off of the base. Set the base aside. Now we have the head, and you can see the bottom part of it there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull this center pin out of the very bottom. Just grab it, pull it out. We have a center pin that looks like that right there. Set it aside. And now there's a little rubber grommet part that's. Uh, in there that needs to be removed and here again just grab it with your fingernail slide it out of there this one's been rebuilt a lot but it's still rebuildable so i'll set the rubber grommet aside and now the coal will just come right out of there and the wicks and you can see that that one is pretty messed up been used for about two weeks probably and there's the uh, uh, center post assembly. So I have a rebuilt, I have a wick that's already prepared. I'm going to use it. I buy these from Fast Tech. And uh, they're pre-wound. You can get 50 of them for about 6 bucks. Um, in a future video, I'll show you how to wind your own coil. But for right now, I'm going to use this pre-wound wick and wire and I found that they work pretty good uh, saves me a little time what I'm doing here is I'm straightening out the legs on the coil you have to have two legs on this coil one for the center and one for the uh, negative doesn't really matter what you use um, hopefully you can see that coil pretty good there uh, I have the have the legs straightened out. So I'm going to take these two legs. I'm going to put them through the uh, po post assembly here. Push both of them through. You want both of the legs to extend to the other side. There. Now both both legs are sticking through the um, um, post assembly. I'll, I'll put this napkin behind it. Maybe that'll give it a little better. No, that doesn't really help. But um, anyway, if you can see it, now what we want to do is we want to take our rubber grommet. You're going to place one leg of this coil through the center of this grommet. And the other leg of the coil is going to be out on the outside of the grommet so that 
so that it's making contact with the outside of the base. And one is through the center there. I don't know if that's how visible that is. Um, once we have that, we want to make sure our coil, pull, pull the legs on this coil so that it, the wick is down in our flush with the, the um, little recessed area. We can set our pin back in now, our center pin. Just push it right back into that grommet. Here again, see how that coil is sort of raised up on that, or that wire wick is sort of raised up on that side. We can pull on our legs of our coil and pull that back down, just like that. We want it laying in there nice and flat. And now I'm going to, I'm going to twist this wick a little bit because with an EVOD head, you have a bottom wick and then you have a top wick. So I, I'm, I just pulled it through a little bit so that I have most of it over here. I'm going to cut this off and be putting it on top for the flavor wick. So now I have the two wires from the coil sticking out of the bottom. Take my fingernail clips and I'll just cut that. Cut it as close to the metal as possible. Okay, now both of the um, wires have been cut pretty flush. Run your fingernail along the edge where the wires are at. Make sure that they're not protruding too far. If they're, if they're sticking out too far, you can get a short. So you don't want those sticking out too far. Um, you want them to be laying very, very flat and, and not sticking out at all if possible. I think that will do right there. So now I have um, my center post assembly with the uh, wick pulled to one side. I'm going to take my fingernail clips again. I'm going to trim the wick. You trim them very close on an EVOD. So I'll cut that right there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Cut it very close. And I'm going to take my cent the, the long piece of wick that was left remaining and I'm going to stick it in right on top. That's going to be the flavor wick. And at this point, you can take the chimney and set it right back on top sometimes these are a little stubborn to get back in there but get it in there i've got this small little hammer just kind of knock it down in there flush so that it's far down, far down as it'll go that looks pretty good I believe that'll be fine. Take my fingernail clips and trim off the excess wick again. Don't really need it. With the Evod head, you don't need a whole lot of wick sticking out. Okay, so all that's looking pretty good. Uh, I, I can feel a little roughness on the wire there. I'm sort of worried that it might short, but um, I'm going to take my fingernail clippers and try to trim that one little piece again. Yeah, I think I got a little bit off of it. That feels better. Okay, well, that's done. The, the, the coil is rebuilt. Rethread it back into your base. And I've got an ohmmeter here that I use to test these once, once they're done to make sure that they're okay. And it shows 2.26 ohms. That's that's about right where I want it. We can now take that off. We can get our top part. This has a little juice in it left, so um, I'll just put that right back in there. Thread it back in. And it's ready to reuse. So I hope that helps you guys.
Um, like I said, soon I'll try to put together a video just showing you how to put together a, a wick and a coil. It's real simple. So anyway, happy vaping. Talk to you later. Bye.